What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Watcher of Realms and today I want to go over the hero summoning. We have a summon or multiple summon events coming in, coming up, especially our first ancient summoning event. And so I want to take a moment to talk through the mechanics of summoning and help you guys understand um, exactly how it works. Now they did recently put a notice out here in the game on the event summoning but I'm not sure how many people saw it or how many people understand it so I want to try to go ahead and break it down real quick and give you a little quick explanation so you can know what you're getting into when you are summoning so the two primary forms of summoning are invocation of spirits and divine summoning the invocation of spirits uses the blue which is the rare summoning crystals or diamonds the divine summons use legendary summoning crystals the gold ones and um we're not gonna we'll talk about pity in a minute uh, different summoning events so there's a few events that can come up you got crazy summons which is two times drop rate of all legendaries you have 10 times summons which is 10 times drop rate of featured uh, heroes in the banner this is generally two legendary and three um epic so you know you have a greater chance of getting one of those every time you get a legendary or an epic so the rates themselves for legendary epic are still the same it's just that um once you hit one there's an extra roll there and there's a chance the uh, 10 times chance is going to be the featured hero then finally we have faded summoning which we just recently had on captain rev and you are guaranteed um one copy of the event uh faded summoning event uh hero at 250 summons now at the same time they're also they are also listed at a 10 times rate in that banner and they are only in those event banners meaning they do not go into the normal pool of the rare and legendary summoning stones so that's the only time you can get them is when they have those events they will be repeating them um but we don't really know how often at this point um i do know that the captain rev uh, appeared twice on the forerunner server i think around like christmas time or somewhere around that time frame and then again on uh easter i believe i heard um so that was actually quite you know like four months in between but it did come back now you can use the calendar to kind of see what's coming up and this is where you'll normally see what kind of rate up we're having on the weekend we're having <laughs> we're having on the weekend um those you know the banners are usually occurring over the weekend uh some start a little bit earlier some last a little bit longer um, but in general, you'll have either a two times or a ten times. Now, at the start of the game, um, like the first week after the game, we had a two times along with a ten times. And so we th this was like a really prime time to summon because they had Salazar and Zillatu in the banner. And they're both really good heroes to have. So I'm going to guess that most of the time that these, this comes around, it'll probably be good heroes and you'll want to go ahead and summon on those. So again, the limited summons are only available during that uh, banner. Um, the heroes that, uh, when they first come out, they will go into a 10 times banner. And then after that banner's over, they will go into any future um, two times banners. So they did pull a little, you know, a little bit of okie doke on us recently where we had a 10 times banner for new heroes. And then they also ran a two times banner at the same time, separate banners but you could not get the new heroes on the two times banner um so you got to keep an eye out for that and exactly how they're running it so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video which is let me help you understand the pity timer so the rare summon stones and legendary summoning crystals and the ancient summoning crystals all have their own pity timer now we don't have the ancient one up but i believe it's pretty darn similar to the rare and um it's to guarantee i believe a legendary lord and that is a lot of stones like we're talking the 200 um to start the pity timer um and then it kind of just increases from there we'll go over that in a second so the ancient ones are i mean they're they're really well territory um as free to play and low spinners we'll get a handful of them as we go along but you know we're not going to be pulling 200 at a time unless you save for like what year and a half two years or something like that i don't know maybe it'll get better we'll see um but it, it's not great and of course so the p 
pity timers actually stay with the stone themselves. Doesn't matter what banner's running, it doesn't reset with a specific banner. Um, even if a e limited event like Captain Riv comes, the which uses the the rare summoning stones, your pity timer from that carries over. So it actually can help you, like because maybe you're close to pity, and then with Rev being at a 10 times rate, you still have a good chance of getting him without having to go to 250. Um, so keep that in mind. The because of the way the pity works with the stone, you can carry that into um, the another banner. So if you have a 10 times banner coming up, you really want that hero, you're close to pity. Hey, it might be a good opportunity to go ahead and use that, and um, you'll be you'll have a good chance of getting whatever is at 10 times rate. Um, because a lot of times you're summoning and not getting any legendary at all. Um, I know personally, I went to the full over 200 twice in a row and it's very very painful very painful but you know what it happens so that's that let's get into a little bit more on the numbers there so if we look at on invocation of spirits and go to details this is where you can see the drop rates and this does update with the banner so if you come in here and look at this on the two times banner you'll see these numbers are doubled so keep that in mind um, whenever you're looking at this that is the drop rate for that banner you're not multiplying that at all and you really have no idea you know how the whole 10 times works is pretty much behind the scenes so um, the way the rare stones work is that after 200 consecutive summons if you have no legendary hero your uh, chance for legendary hero will increase by 5% in each subsequent summon so just add 5% to this each time you hit another summon so like 201 202 203 204 so essentially once you get up to um once you get up to around 220 maybe 219 at that point you're guaranteed that your next summon is going to be legendary so i think it might it might be 219 i don't i don't feel like trying to map that out right now um i guess it's still like 96.4 so you, know, you gotta go 220 so 220 is the absolute guarantee but hopefully you get one before that point but if you're super unlucky you can go all the way to 220 on these now to keep track of that uh, I don't know if this works perfectly but if you keep the order if you get a legendary in a temple count you know how many it was from the end so that you can come in here and subtract that from here so you come in here and check this number right when you pull a legendary and you know count it down however many to count down I don't know if that's 100% accurate um, but uh, it's just my assumption for now and then record that number and that'll be what you start your pity over at so you're back at zero and you can keep track of where you're at so you can kind of make some decisions on where you're gonna pull uh, so that's how you keep track of that one I don't keep track of my divine um, if you do want to do that you have to go to your achievements and stuff and check how many like total summons you've done and gonna subtract from there uh, that might get more difficult once the ancient summons come. So I don't even know if it's going to be very accurate. But this one's pretty straightforward. Um, on the base rate, you do have a 5.6% chance at a legendary. 6% um, total if you pull in the lords. So the pity on this one is after 12 consecutive summons with no legendary, the pity timer activates and it increases by 2% each time. So theoretically here, you, you almost have to go, it's like what? 50 um, minus sorry it's, it's like 46 47 summons to be guaranteed one now I think on this one you it's gonna be really hard to hit that number uh, but please I do not I, I'm knocking on wood I do not wish that upon myself so please universe do not put that on me now that I've said it but yeah so essentially this will go up by 2% each time so you're at 6% and you go 8% 10%, 12%, so on and so forth. Um, so you could do a lot of divines and not get a legendary. Um, and I've seen some folks uh, hit quite a few before uh, hitting that legendary. So these can be quite painful to do. Um, but it is still a pity. Still a pity. Um, and you're always getting an epic if you don't get a legendary. Uh, which, I mean, there's plenty of good epics. And you still have a chance at those epic lords too, which are very good as well. So... So that's that. That is how the pity works. That's how the summons work. The pity is actually tied to the stones themselves, not the banners. Um, so keep that in mind. Except the event banner, of course, for Captain Rev. 
and whatever else we have in the future. Um, I really hope, you know, I'm a little bit long winded in this video, but I do hope that it kind of helps sink in exactly how it works so you can plan out your summons accordingly. Um, you know, we got the ancient summons coming up. I really don't think anyone needs to bother trying to keep track of that. I mean, unless you're wailing out hard, you're not doing a ton of them. You're just hoping to get lucky, essentially, like everyone else. That's what, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, I think I'll have maybe like 15, uh, maybe up to 20. So maybe two temples that we can do. And that's it, man. We, we, we're going to see what happens. Um, I can tell you this. like Statistically, you want to wait and pull on two times banner. But, man, RNG will be RNG. You never know when you're going to get something good. Anyway, I hope this helped. If it does, hit the like button. If you have any questions, if you feel like something wasn't clear, let me know down in the comments. I will try to clear it up for you. Um, but, yeah, key thing is the pity stays with the stone. Doesn't matter what the banner is. So anyway, thanks guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.